Yo, guys, how we doing? What is up? We're back with another weekly Every Last Drop Letter, and I'm bringing to you the video. This is, L L L this is ELD Letter 36. <laughs> ELD Letter 36. Jump into your preferred stretches and let's tuck into this week's letter and let's learn, let's grow. So, I wonder how the music is. How loud is the music? Let's turn it down a touch. So, this week's letter, guys, is the personal and personal development. The personal and personal development, right? And so often we're seeking outside of ourselves. We're seeking like podcasts, YouTube channels, infos, courses, educational things. We want to try and get something outside of us and bring it in. And we're looking outside of ourselves. And yeah like we're we're looking outside of ourselves for change and quite often in this phase of looking outside of ourselves it takes it takes someone outside of us to say something in a specific way which makes us understand something that's already within us so something and why, why i'm even talking about this is i love to say does it really take the death of a loved one, the traumatic event, like, does it really take losing someone you love and, like, going through some hectic shit to finally start making changes in our life? And quite often the answer to that is yes, at least in my case. Like, we start to take our health seriously once we've been diagnosed with some shit that we need to start taking our health seriously for, right? Um, it's kind of the way it goes, but... The reality is, is we all have a calling deep down within us. Like, we all have a voice inside of us that knows we could be doing more, that knows we could be doing a little bit better, that knows that we could just be going a little bit harder. And I'm I'm just making shit like this because we we have the option to listen to those voices already. A family member doesn't have to die to finally get our shit together. Something bad doesn't have to happen for us to finally start taking action on our dreams, you know. So, yeah, listening to that calling and, and yeah, this, this external search and then listening to our calling. And this brings me to the main point of this letter, which is personal development. And I'm emphasizing personal you know, I've spent a good part of the last three years just diving deep into personal development and yeah, I've now I'm realizing like a deep truth to it all and it's called personal development for a reason because it's personal to us as an individual and to us as individuals. It's personal development, not some thing that some dude is putting out online that is going to service a whole bunch of people and not be personal. So, you know, I really want to make sure that we understand here that there's certain concepts that are universal, like discipline, you know, like needing to move your body, needing to eat good food, needing to be in nature, go outside, like these really foundational basic things. But there's no, rather, we take those, those broad concepts, but then we break them down into our own personal version. And... You know, a great example of this is I've now done 75 hard twice, which is like a mental recalibration program. And it's it's all about discipline. And it's been the, one of the best decisions that I've ever made is to do that program. So let me make that clear. But I believe that there should be other elements to it. Like I believe that there should be a breath work and meditation, like a mental aspect of it, not just reading and doing the powerless. So you guys might not know what 75 hard is and that's not the point but my point here is is we can take the philosophy of building discipline and apply it to our own personal development and whatever you personally believe that slots into the personal development for you is what you should do and for me that looks like a breathwork meditation presence practice bringing myself back to the moment not just going hard so there has to be the elements of personal development and that's what it looks like for me. And that's why I do my practices every day. And we all have our own version of that. You know, do you believe that you should be dancing every day? Do you believe that you should be 
picking up the phone and calling your family every day. Like, what to you is your own things that you really believe? Tap into that. So, yeah. The, um, the understanding that one person's struggle is another person's strength. So, someone that might be giving, like, a really broad coaching thing to a whole bunch of people and saying that it's their, like, it's the thing they struggle with and it's why I'm doing it. Some people, excuse me, some people might not even struggle with that and then it's not actually about personal development. It's just ticking a box and it's like, huh, weird. I really, I don't struggle to, let's say, read every day. I was doing it anyway. And now suddenly you're reading every day and just ticking the box and it's not actually a personal development challenge for you because it was already something you were doing. So, yeah. Let's have a look at this graphic to further illustrate what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Here we go. So understanding what is in our own container of personal development is the real work. Everyone is different. A circle will not fit in a square hole and vice versa. Be you. We're all different shapes, sizes, and if you think about that from a mental, uh, you know, like... I'm trying to explain how it is in our mind where in our mind we might be looking at the world and be in the world in a way of a circle but people are telling us to be a square but that doesn't fit and vice versa so this is just to bring this all back down again to to our own personal development and it looks different between myself and my partner Mia we're both doing different things but we're both, sorry, rather, we're both in personal development, but it looks different. You know, she doesn't do breath work every day. She does her own different versions of the same sort of thing, but in her own personal way. And again, this has taken me three years to really understand that. I don't need to be doing other people's version of what this looks like. It's taken me three years to finally cultivate and craft my own version of what this looks like. And that's why I'm making this video, because we can all do that. We can all be personally excellent within our own world, not just because some dude on the internet says so. So, yeah, understanding what is actually in our own personal development container is, in my opinion, the key learning over the last three years. It's personal development. If you want to have a practical way to figure this out and you're still, like, not really too sure what is in your container of personal development, I've designed and built the discipline skill set with the workflow on the other side so that we can understand what is in our own container of personal development and the link is in the description of this video um, if you don't want to pick it up it's 50 bucks it's like a work through poster if you don't want to pick that up if you don't want to pay then just dm me and i will send you the pdf version absolutely free because i believe it can genuinely help you get better so there we go and Coming back to the point, once we have our own North Star of personal development, it's really in, it's really about bringing it back to intention too, so not just, you know, not just ticking the boxes for the sake of ticking the boxes, like, not just meditating for the sake of, yeah, fuck yeah, I meditated today, like, what is the intention behind meditation? For me, it's to clear my mind, to connect closer to the present, to realize that my negative thoughts and self-limiting beliefs aren't actually me. To realize that I'm free to continue to pursue my dreams and bring forward the reality that I'm trying to build into the world. It's to really step outside of all of my programming and conditioning and just become the most empowered version of myself. That's like the gateway to that for me. Getting rid of all of this shit coming back to the moment and realizing that I am free and can push forward so that's meditation but some days I get into the habit of just ticking the box so bringing it back to intention and the intention behind everything when it, with our movement are we just ticking the box of movement are we just doing some pull-ups or are we really understanding that it's the intention behind it is to move us forward and respecting this beautiful body that we get to inhabit and we're moving ourselves forward and we're causing adaptations all throughout our body in a positive way to create a healthier, stronger, more resilient body. That's the intention. So there's a huge, huge difference there, right? And yeah. So to summarize, 
Let's get personal with our personal development. And let's bring the intention into those personal development avenues, however they look for you. If you would like help with that, DM me, send me a message, comment on this video. We can sort something out and we can help you chase your own personal development like I do for myself. And it's going to look different for everyone. And we just need to find what you're into and how that looks for you. So, who do you want to be? What do your actions say that you are? Or who do your actions say that you are, rather? And it's time to bridge the gap. Become the person that we've always known that we can be through our daily actions, through showing up every day. And that's how we bring forth heaven on earth and all of this cliche shit. Man, making these videos and doing all this stuff, like... I just really can't be fucked most of the time. And... We still show up. We show up because of personal development and because discipline and it's a skill and we can apply that skill of discipline to our own personal development, to our own movement, to our own ability to show up in our relationship, to our friends, partners, families and just be a better human being in the world and so that's why I'm here today. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you. Much love. And we'll see you in the next one. Straight up though. Thank you for watching. Peace.